Get my hair cut. Uh. Yeah, I'm a native Washingtonian. Not many of us around. For more than 40 years, William Hunter has come to the Arcade Barbershop in Silver Spring, Maryland. He says this place and a nearby restaurant are the only things that haven't changed. Well, I remember when uh, 29 was a two-lane road. <laughs> I remember the Beltway wasn't there. This barbershop in Crisfield is the only two places I know that haven't changed. Things change so much nowadays. Opened in 1946 in the Woodmore Shopping Center, the barbershop has been a fixture for the neighborhood. The owner, Peter Fregapane, has been cutting hair here since the early 70s. He's seen a lot of people come and go. Some people just move away. They stop here on the way. They came back, visit their relatives. They ask you to still hear. They surprise me. It's amazing. You look just like you used to be before. Each departure feels like a personal loss. He loses not just a client, he loses a piece of his community. They just say, this will be my last haircut because I got it trust. I got married to go live in another area. Things like that. Yeah, uh, not much you can do if I change. It, uh, change happens. Lost some of it positive, a lot of it negative, I guess. But, uh, Uh, nothing sure but change. While Peter and William reflect on the past, Peter's wife Guadalupe looks more toward the future. Very young couples here with children, the new generation stay around here. It's very nice, very nice with the children coming with mommy and daddy. When coming the children with daddy, it's better with the coming with mommy because mommy loves it too much. Some customer little ones say, no, I don't like it today, haircut. The mommy say, okay, I'm sorry, Guadalupe, I am going. Course, but when coming with daddy, it's other mm -hmm. question because the daddy say, no, honey, we come in the barbershop for haircut, we need a haircut. Kids breathe life into the shop on weekends and after school. Their parents like the tangible connection to the past. For William, who is 77, the barbershop is a brief respite from the changes going on outside. My wife's an invalid right now. She had a second back operation and it didn't turn out well, so she can't walk. She got constant pain, 24 hours a day. So. My job is to take care of her. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. All righty. Peter and Guadalupe's barbershop is an island in a sea of change. Take it. The is back there the clinic. And each new visitor to this island marks a new cycle. <laughs> Thank you very much. Are you going to get a lollipop? Yeah, you want a lollipop? 